Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's dev blog, which features the IAR81C supporting the Axis. This is the Romanian plane that has been requested for years now, and people have been looking forward to for a very, very long time, both on the forums and on Reddit, much requested. And uh, I have also been looking forward to this plane for a long time. It looks absolutely stunning and uh, i hope it will also be stunning let's first take a look at the clip that gaijin made for us shall we well that was definitely entertaining it doesn't give away a whole lot except for that it's made by one of our community vitaly vostokov aka nova 29r which is fantastic um, that he made this romanian plane uh, looking forward to it and uh, definitely has some good armaments there two machine guns and two 20 millimeters it seems like that's always pretty good now the iar 81c is the final wartime modification of this plane and this is one of the most well-known domestically produced Romanian World War II military aircraft. Um, I'm definitely going to buy it, I will say that outright. I have done so with all the community created content uh, in planes because I think that people who put some time in it also deserve something back. Uh, look at this fantastic model and uh, I definitely hope that uh, Vitaly there will get some nice return from making this plane. I for one will definitely buy it and i hope he will get something back like i said in war thunder the iar 81 will be making its way into the game as a rank 2 premium aircraft available for the italian aviation tree now that is the first remarkable thing in this dev blog they announced that the premiums created for not playable axis nations will be put in the italian tree this patch which is all right I have the Italian tree almost completely unlocked by now, so I uh, don't have any benefit from this plane anymore in the sense of unlocking the tree. But the Italian tree can definitely use a few more premiums. And the Romanian IAR81 uh, will definitely be a nice addition. As such, players can expect a fairly quick and nimble fighter equipped with more than adequate firepower. As I said, two 20mm and two machine guns capable of dealing with most threats with relative ease the first striking feature of the iar is that it has a stretch fuselage and it's housing the cockpit a little bit backwards this placement meant that pilots um, had some problems taking off and landing and this will be especially noticeable in air sb of course but i don't play that so for me this is not a problem it will have nice visibility though, so that is nice for the SB community as well. Looking great, by the way. The reasons why a designers chose to stretch the aircraft though was to preserve the ideal center of gravity for the heavier production aircraft. That is a worry to me already. It's heavier uh, than the original testing models. We'll see how heavy it will feel in War Thunder and whether it is actually agile or not they say that they did that in order to maintain the excellent controllability of the aircraft praised by many pilots well i'm looking forward to that and hopefully that will translate into the game in addition to excellent agility the iar81 doesn't disappoint when it comes to speed either it's powered by a 1025 horsepower license built version of the gnome Rhone mistral major engine and it is capable of reaching 485 kilometers at 500 meters i doubt that <laughs> i doubt that uh, i mean most of the stat cards that gaijin produces doesn't translate into the reality of the game and uh, um, well we're going to test it and we're going to see what it will do around that altitude Despite certain machines such as early versions of the Spitfire and the BF-109 exceeding the performance of the IR-81, well, yeah, uh, the, the performance I can imagine, that is in uh, acceleration and 
energy retention and such. Uh, at least that's what I take from this, that that isn't stellar and that it can reach uh, some good speed uh, when it has time to get there. But it will be able to hold its own in a dogfight, they say, and makes up for some of the lacking performance with its firepower. So lacking performance, they already say in this little bit here, compared to some other planes like Spitfires and BF-109s. Well, that's interesting. Firepower will be good. And why the fire will be firepower will be good is because it doesn't run with some of the earlier versions of cannons that most nations have that fire pretty slowly and don't have a high velocity. This plane will be equipped with German MG-151 20mm cannon, uh, cannons and that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, these cannons have already gained an infamous reputation within war uh, uh, with War Thunder pilots who know what kind of destructive power these cannons have and I agree with that the MG-151 20mm cannons are definitely one of my personal favorite 20 millimeters in the game. So I'm looking forward to a tier two plane running with these cannons and we'll see what kind of battle rating this plane will get. It probably will start low as they basically alluded to that, but um, let's see how long it stays at that battle rating if it performs well. But like I said, the heavy, uh, the, the reference to heavy and the reference to lacking performance is a worry for the plane and let's hope that is not too strikingly present when it comes into the game. Additionally, the plane can also mount one single 225 kilo bomb underneath the fuselage uh, to engage ground targets. However, I would not do that and they also don't recommend it as it is an extra uh, letdown on the performance, let's say. So I definitely wouldn't go into that if I was you. Well, all in all, the uh, IAR-81C will become available for purchase to all War Thunder pilots in the upcoming update 1.79. Stay tuned for the latest development and blah -de -de blah Looking forward to that, guys. Looking forward to that. The plane is definitely a good looker. And uh, we'll have to see about the performance issues and uh, the firepower and the battle rating and all that jazz. This has been a plane that I have been looking forward to for years. So I am very glad that it finally comes into the game as a community created aircraft. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.